I'm telling you. If COVID-19 was a person, I would write them a very strongly worded letter expressing my disdain for them. Posse Packer Nation! Welcome to an episode of Packers, the podcast where you don't have to be a Packers fan, but it sure does help. I'm your host, Tom. COVID, if, I swear, if you take the football season away from me, I will hunt down every last microbe of you and incinerate you in my wood stove. Grassy. And this is the third time this week that I just finished editing a video and then more news broke. And so here we are again, my friends. So news just broke that Mason Crosby, Jay Sternberger, and Trayvon Hester from the Green Bay Packers have been placed on the COVID-19 reserve list. Now, in addition, you also saw yesterday Kenny Galladay and TJ Hawkinson from the Lions be put on that same list. It was also announced that Bears nose tackle John Jenkins and Vikings outside linebacker Anthony Barr were also placed on this list today. Now, I wanted to make this video not just obviously to talk about it, but also to kind of clear up any misconceptions. This is not a confirmation that any one of these players actually has COVID-19. This list is for two things. Either one, they tested positive and they do have COVID-19, or two, they have been in close contact with someone who has tested positive and they're basically just being put on this list as a precaution. Now, we are just three days into training camp with Green Bay. The first four days is all virtual meetings and testing it anyway. And some good news, if anything, is that they actually don't take the field until the 12th of August. So they do have some time to recover if they were to have it. So here's what happens now. If they are positive and asymptomatic, they can be cleared 10 days after a positive test or five days with two negative tests. So if they're not showing any symptoms, great. 10 days after their positive test, they can come back or within five days, if they just take two tests and they're both negatives, then they're good to go. Now, if they have tested positive and they are symptomatic, then they are going to be out a minimum of 10 days after the first occurrence of symptoms and 72 hours after the last occurrence of symptoms. So basically, they're going to be out a minimum of a week and a half. And of course, that could stretch further if symptoms continue because they are not going to be allowed back until their symptoms have stopped and then three days after that point. So this does not mean that they're not playing for the season or that they even have COVID. It just means that either they have tested positive or they've come into contact with someone who has and they'll be out anywhere between five days to potentially a week and a half or more. Of course, this comes as a huge downer as there was starting to be some excitement in the air that football was starting to come back, even if it was just training camp, and then we're starting to see names opt out. Of course, you just had Damian Williams from the Chiefs opt out for the season, and I would not be shocked within the next week to see more players opt out and more players to enter on this list. Now, again, the positive, if anything here, except hopefully it's not positive for Corona, is that on-field practices aren't happening until near mid-August. However, this also gives a glimpse into what the season would look like. So if you had a star player or any player on the team go down in the middle of the season with COVID, this is basically the protocol that they're going to be following. This also comes hot off the heels for the Buffalo Bills that they sent home rookies today because a fifth rookie tested positive for COVID. They didn't have to send everybody home, but they're just doing it out of precaution. So again, this is what playing sports in a pandemic is going to look like if we're not inside a bubble. So... So is this sustainable for the regular season? We're just going to have to wait and see. But we do have a long runway to the actual regular season. So hopefully they work the kinks out and COVID rates drop. Hopefully. In news actually unrelated to COVID, but related to the Green Bay Packers, the Packers claimed... John Lovett from the Chiefs off the waiver wire. Lovett was an undrafted free agent last year who found himself on IR. Lovett is officially listed as a QB on the waiver wire and was a QB at Princeton. However, he's kind of done everything. He's gone out and caught passes as a receiver. He ran for over 600 yards in 2018 and eight touchdowns, and he's played quarterback as well. So he seems to be a John of all trades. He has been transitioning to the tight end spots. 
And the guy has some pretty decent speed as 462 40 yard dash on his pro day. So it's going to be interesting to see how the Packers are going to utilize him. Obviously, I don't think it's going to be as a QB, but I was just reading that one of the Chiefs reporters was talking about all the potential that Lovett had. So I mean, you might as well take a shot with him. I mean, I know he's most likely going to be a tight end, but I mean, we can use anybody who can catch the ball, right? But let me know what you think down in the comments below. You can always find me at TomGrossyComedy.com or at TomGrossyComedy on all social media. See down below. Check out podcasts on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play Music, Spotify, and of course, YouTube. And a big shout out and thank you to all the patrons over at Patreon.com slash TomGrossyComedy and the YouTube members. But thank you so much for watching. I'm Tom Grossi. And as always, go back, go. Go.